Yeah, I do so like let me this one. let me pass you this ball. Okay. See if you know what it is. Oh, good, good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost the whole ball. Nearly, nearly in, went in my coffee. In your coffee. <laughs> right, that's the last time you'll go near the ball. Good yeah. shot, though. So, yeah, if you're looking for a new sport to take up, maybe um, in the cold weather, perhaps, and a really simple, accessible game, this could be it. It's called Wall Ball. It's been officially formalised and recognised now. Form a playground game that I'm sure we've all played, because all you need is a wall and a ball. So I went to try it ahead of the UK Championships in London. It's the sport that started in the playground when we were kids, and now they're trying to take it back there again, now that it's officially known as wall ball, because the beauty is its simplicity. All you need is a ball and a wall. Similar to squash, but even easier. So all it's got to do is hit the wall and land in the court, and then the rally just carries on until someone misses the ball. Wall ball's actually been going on for hundreds of years all over the world. In New York, there's 2,500 courts, all free to use, all every day. And that's what we want to do here. It's derived from a game of fives, which was first played in chapels at public schools centuries ago. But for fives, you need four walls, whereas modern wall ball has no such confines and can be played anywhere. So making it popular with the school children being given taster sessions and people of all abilities and ages. I'm like this, I go wham! And does that feel and good? Then, yes, really good. It's just got me running around, you know, and... Hopefully I'll get rid of this paunch. The ball's bouncy if you hit it really hard and you don't want to hit it with too much power but a little bit of power. It's like playing tennis or squash without a racket, you know, you're using your hand. Um, so anyone with arthritis, I think you're doing the world of good. For the majority of people, this is really simple. It's right-left coordination. And when you're thinking about things like stroke rehabilitation and things like that, right-left side is so important. But for kids and their development and for adults who are getting active, it's simple, safe movements, very, very easy to do. Which is why UK Warball now hope to spread this to other cities around the UK. And the British team will compete in the World Cup in the USA later this year, with the men's team now in the top five. At the top level, like when you're playing with the GB squad, you can wear gloves, so I've opted for that. At international level, you do get a sense of the power and speed and also the tactics that you don't get in similar games. Oh! Didn't even see it! <laughs> now, that was a classic um, tactic in this game called blocking, where one of the brothers was just standing in front of me, so I didn't actually see it and said it was too late. Unlike squash or other sports like that, you can actually be um, an obstacle on court. So where Ian wasn't moving there, he's allowed to be there. The ball can go in between his legs, next to him, yeah, and you've got to play it. But whether you're being blocked or not, you can always be deceived by the bounce of the ball. So it definitely gives you a good run around, and you can see why it's great exercise, especially for those who maybe had joint problems mm. in the way you move around side to side. Very and a minimal amount of kit required. Yes. And fuss. Yeah. Mm. Easy to pick fun. up. Very great good. fun. Thanks, Mike.